like to read the eighth psalm to you this morning. Um, I love this psalm. I always pictured David sitting on a hill somewhere and on a starry night and just looking at the stars and just just oh, just gushing over them. I wonder if he'd been reading Genesis 1, the creation story, and just God's creating the world and, and placing us within it. Psalm 8, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing their enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think of them? Human beings that you should care for them? Yet you made them only a little lower than God, and crowned them with glory and honour. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds, all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean current. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. David starts and finishes the psalm with the same refrain, O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. This isn't only a great, majestic, awesome God out there somewhere. This is our Lord. This is a Lord that we can claim as one who cares for us, as one who acknowledges us. This is our God. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing their enemies. Jesus quoted this on Palm Sunday, and today, I'm, I'm reading this on Sunday, today is Palm Sunday. And as Jesus was riding into Jerusalem on the donkey, and, and all this noise and singing and shouting is carrying on, um, there's children singing in the temple, Matthew 21, and the religious leaders come to Jesus and say, well, what, what's with all this noise, rowdy children? And Jesus says, hey, have you heard? Like, and he quotes the psalm pointing out the praise of children and how pure it is to God, but also pointing out how it silences those who oppose him, including those religious leaders that just did not get what God was about. They did not get how Jesus revealed this God who loves to hear our praises, pure praises. When I look at the night sky, the stars and the everything... Genesis tells us that God put them there to mark the seasons and the months and and all this. And for all we know from her modern astronomy, from the Hubble Space Telescope, and it's remarkable. Their purpose really still is to tell us the months and the seasons. It's just that as we look closer to them, we see how incredible God's eye for detail is and how he's made these distant nebulas and galaxies and compared with them the vastness of them what what are we what are we puny little human beings compared to the vastness of the galaxy and David asks this as a rhetoric question and he answers it straight away you made them a little lower than only God a little lower than the heavenlies some translations have them. Elohim, the, the Hebrew word for God, can also mean angels. And some translators just figured that David couldn't possibly be saying that we're only lower than God, but it seems that he really was. He crowned them with glory and honour. You gave them charge of everything you made. Go and fill the world. Go and extend it. Go and look after it was the, was the, the charge that he gave to Adam and Eve and it's still the charge that we hold today and yes Adam and Eve sin, yes each of us sin and the world is fractured, our relationship with God and with each other is fractured but we still carry that Imago day. we are made in the image of God and even in the Bible I mean you get to chapter 3 and we read about, uh, chapter 4 and we read about Cain and Abel, they're still 
around the world their children they're still bringing produce they're still the the original call god gave to us as humans is not lost we are still god's caretakers god's extenders god's architects builders creators artists in this place and we all carry that image of god in us that signature of our maker you will never meet a human being who is not significant in god's eyes and they shouldn't be insignificant in ours. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. The sun is rising behind me. It's another beautiful sunrise. It will be another beautiful day. And the sun has risen and, and set many, many times in this world. And our times are uncertain at the moment. But God is not only for this planet, this universe, God is for us and God is in control. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. He honore, he gloria, kite atua. All honour and glory to God. Rongorongo kite whenua. Peace on the earth. Fakaro pai kina tangatakato. Good will, good thoughts, good, good thinking, good peace to all mankind. Amen.